One of the most interesting features of Sketchbook Designer is the link to AutoCAD. In this case, we start in AutoCAD and we will do a layout and use a pitch setup manager to define the, the, the plot style and the size. Once we do that, we will now create a canvas inside AutoCAD. A canvas will basically bake the information that's beneath that, for example, in this case, this viewport, into something that can be exported into Sketchbook Designer. In this particular case, if I go into Aspect Ratio 3, I can set up the, the canvas to be exactly the same size and ratio as the viewport. Another thing you need to understand here is the size and resolution, right? In this case, I can uh, tweak it up. And the bigger the resolution, the more subtle the line weights are going to be inside Sketchbook Designer. Of course, there's also going to be more memory involved, but that, that's a balance that you need to find. And we can also create vector underlays and paint underlays. Let's just start with a paint underlay and click OK. What's happening now is it sounds like it's plotting. It's just because it's getting the plot style and creating the line widths and colors based on that. Once in Sketchbook Designer, through a one-click workflow, we can see that we have basically all the information from AutoCAD in one paint layer and another layer called Canvas, which is the background, and a Paint 1, which is something like the first place where you can start working on. If you select the Paint Underlay, you can convert it into a Paint layer, but not into a Vector layer. Let's see what happens if we go back to AutoCAD and do it all again with Vector Underlay on. Now we have all the layers of the drawing present in Sketchbook Designer. They are in pink because they are linked to the AutoCAD file, so you cannot edit any of those. You can turn them on and off, for example, or lock them, but you cannot make any edits on them unless you convert them either into a vector or a paint layer. A vector layer will basically allow us, uh, allow us to make edits, and the paint layer will just um, make us make selections and everything else. So in this case, I'm going to grab one of those layers and uh, convert them to a vector layer. So now, with any of the selection tools in Sketchbook Designer, I can select the geometry and tweak, edit, add, delete geometry as much as I want. Vector layers in, in Sketchbook Designer are very, very powerful because they allow us to have a sensitivity between our strokes and, for example, in this case, a fill. So let's see that now we can keep editing this and, uh, and, and get all the changes. So it's a very powerful tool for illustration. Thank you.